Now let me roll my R's. <laughs> ah, gotta, gotta do the, the voice. <sighs> okay. RPG Maker VX Ace. The game I tried to make completely on my own was an isekai one where a personality test determined what kind of uh, companion you would have. These companions treated you differently. One was super nice, like an older brother type. The other one was. The other one was kind of a dangerous type, like me. Thinking about it, they would just kind of be dry, sarcastic. They they also were meant to be morally like gray. So depending on the type of person you were, you would get nice person or person who could destroy you in your sleep. Now, what kind of person do you wish for me to be? The one to haunt you with sleep paralysis? Or the type to look after you, tuck you in and read you a nice bedtime story? You want to be destroyed? Both? Both sound good? I guess there could be like daytime Shiori and then nighttime Shiori. <laughs> These characters, so it was an isekai. You basically end up in a topsy tur turvy? Topsy curvy world. And the ruler of that world was called the doll. Ah! I never finished everything. It was actually halfway done. It got pretty far. I was pretty proud of all the crap I put in, and there was like a, a system in place where if you did enough good deeds, you would be in the light path. And if you did some like morally questionable stuff, which is a, it wasn't like too bad, it's just kind of ambiguous, you would be in the dark path. Neither was bad or anything. It was just like dependent on how you played it. The doll was the monarch of at least that country. Because I like dolls. I like dolls. I was gonna make the monarch of that country. Uh, a, a literal ball-jointed doll that she put her soul into that so she could see... Oh gosh, I'm spoiling everything that I never even put in the game. <laughs> I, I'm so... Okay, I, it's never gonna finish anyway, so might as well. So the doll there, she put her soul into a ball-jointed ball doll waiting for your reincarnation. That's why you got Isekai. She, she did some... Full Metal Alchemist crap, she emerged like Huamoko and Biju to make the... the stone, the Philosopher's Stone, and then she proceeded to wish you into that world. <laughs> so that was like my whole thing, and you were like, bro, I don't know why the heck I'm here, I'm trying to get freaking home, okay? I'm trying to get- I'm trying to go home, but the doll ain't having it. So you're just like, you're trying to go into the main city. To, uh, because you don't know the doll is like freaking yandere over you. Look, it was like my edgy, edgy face, okay? Let me have my OCs. <laughs> Let me have the five voices in my head that became my OCs. So, you're gonna go into the main capital with your companion. They, Depending on how you treated them, they'd be like... I don't think they were ever mean to you. You just didn't get as many scenes. The closer you are to the companion, the more scenes you got that like friendship. Power of friendship, like banter. They were just banter scenes. It was dorky, okay? It's... It's not a phase. It's... It's a way of life. No, no. <laughs> okay, it was only four voices in my head. The fifth one was actually me arguing against all of it. 